Hello, good evening. You're watching London Tonight at the start of the news hour here on ITV. First tonight, a father of five from North London is facing the death penalty in China after being convicted of drug smuggling. Akmal Sheikh used to run a minicab firm in Kentish Town. He was sentenced to death after being caught with a quarter of a million pounds worth of heroin at a Chinese airport. His family say he suffers from a serious mental illness and they believe he was duped by traffickers. But so far, the Chinese authorities have refused to carry out psychoporting for us there. Next this evening, the body of a five-day-old baby has been dug up from a grave in southwest London. The council, which runs Battersea New Cemetery in Morden, believes wild animals were responsible and say it will now review its practices. Well, Marcus Powell is outside the cemetery for us now. Marcus, what more can you tell us about this? Marcus, it's quite a difficult story to get our heads around, really. Talk of, of common graves stacked one on top of the other. It just doesn't sound like something you'd, you'd hear in the 21st century. OK, Marcus, thank you very much indeed. A 14-year-old Sikh boy has been left without a school after he was told he couldn't wear a traditional holy dagger in class. The boy's family have now withdrawn him from the Compton School in Barnet so he can be taught at home. They say the five-inch kirpan is no more dangerous than scissors and it's one of five articles of faith for Sikhs. But governors at the Compton School fear it could be used... ...dangerous than scissors or school cutlery. But is it better to be safe than sorry or should the boy's religious rights come first? Let us know your thoughts, send us an email or a text and we'll read out some of your messages at the end of the programme. A mother from Stevenage says she's been left feeling numb after police searching for her missing daughter found human remains. Samantha Wright disappeared just over a year ago and tonight a 57-year-old man has been charged in connection with the discovery of a body at a house in Edinburgh. Some more of tonight's headlines and a city banker who killed his wife during a violent row has been found guilty of man. Liz Wickham is at the Old Bailey. We can join her there now. Liz. The brother of a woman who fell to her death from a zip wire in Africa has paid tribute to the sister he lost. Sally Whitcomb from Cheam in Surrey was killed when she fell 23 feet after her harness became... Right, let's get some uh, showbiz now and we're about to meet a Tottenham teenager whose life has been revolutionised in a few short months. He left school, won a major music award and now he's on top of the charts. Yes, yeah, since the summer he's got three A-levels from Harringay College. He beat Kanye West and Eminem to be named Best Hip Hop Artist at the Mobos and his single Oopsie Daisy went to number one at the weekend. Well, his name is uh, Jamal Fife. You may know him better as Chipmunk. He's still only 18 and he's on the fast track to world stardom. Lucy Cotter has been to meet him. Quite like that. I like that song. Do you know what I've realised though? What? I'm starving. I was just, just going to. I was, was just going to actually share it with people at home. We've got the people talking in our ears, like you know, telling us what to do generally. And all I could hear during that, he was like, "Oh, I'm hungry." <laughs> oh, chicken. Yeah, oh, nice. nice chicken. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. On the way home, lovely. <laughs> exactly. But no, we like him. Now then, here is another question for you: How many farms are there in London? Well, you'll probably think our capital city is uh, much more concrete jungle than patchwork. Unforgivable pun. <laughs> Just don't know. Murray will be taken out back later. Worth it, I feel, don't you? <laughs> and it's turned frosty. And then a bit mushy. I so know. I have to jam them all this morning. But this is what happens at this, is what happens at this time of year. If, if the skies are clear, mm. we lose all the heat that may have built up during the course of the day, courtesy of the sunshine, because obviously when the cloud comes over, it acts as a clear skies and stuff. But it was already getting very nippy indeed. And there I was in my scraper this morning, late for the train, trying to make the wind... OK, let's bring in the headlines from some of our papers now. End of story. Thank you very much indeed, as ever, for getting in touch on the texts and the emails, which were flooding in on that topic all uh, evening, actually. That is all we've got time for now, though, We're here on London Tonight. Thank you for watching. Well, we'll be back at the same time, same place tomorrow, so make sure you tune in tomorrow night at six. But next, it's the ITV Evening News, and later, Ben will update you on London's top stories. That's at 10.30 this evening. For now, though, from us and from all of the London Tonight team here, have a very good evening. Good night. Goodbye.